Yo guys, what is up? This is Scumman's from Indiox coming back at you again with another episode of Discord Top High. Uh, today it's a bit more informative uh, compared to anything else. We're going to be covering the new Discord.intents um, that come with version 1.5 and above. So essentially it's just a radical change in how bots are written and it basically allows a bot to subscribe into a bucket of events because uh, Discord is basically trying to limit how their API is used for malicious purposes and so this also does affect um, regular users. So the event that corresponds to each intent is documented uh, pretty much in here on the docs. So you can check like this is the guild's intent, it relates to these events and uh, these methods and so on and so forth. You guys can read that if you want, I'll leave it uh, in the description. But pretty much they're the only way for the bot to get information from Discord around certain information here. So to enable it, let's just jump under here. And so basically it's just where you define your bot. So we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to go, we're going to make a new thing and we're going to call it, I'm going to get rid of this, clean it up. Intents equals discord dot intents. And I haven't shown you these yet, but I'm just going to go with default. Now this probably won't work for me actually, because I'm going to need to go uh, and upgrade my discord.py version to 1.5 while we're waiting for that to run in the background. Let's go over what these do. So essentially uh, all will create an intense with everything enabled, uh, none will create it with everything disabled, and default will create um, a method with all intents apart from presence and members. You might be wondering, why not just use all of them? What's default for? Well, Discord does require you to manually select a couple of the more privileged ones. So that is presence and members. So the way that you do that is you just go over to your uh, Discord developer portal. You go into here, you'll go down to your bot and under privilege gateway intents, uh, you're just going to click yes. This won't affect most of you uh, because if your bot's under 100 servers, it doesn't matter anymore. You don't have to verify if it's over, you do have to verify and that's a separate process I won't cover. And there's some more stuff here. Do you need privileged intents? Well, if you meet any of these uh, statistics here, any of these methods, yes, yes you do. So you have to go to the Discord developer page, enable them, enable them on your bot. So. I don't have access to the bot, so I can't do this. So I'm going to have to go with default. And now along with the intents, Discord now uh, further restricts the ability to cache members and they want bot authors to cache them as little as necessary, which provides more issues, as you can probably tell. And so there is now a member cache flags to control the member cache, which can be seen here. And so that's just surrounding the library's policy with regard to caching things. You can finally tune these but if you don't need them, uh, you probably don't need to cache them. Saves you having to get that presence going. And the other ones. But pretty much just take a read through these. If you need any of these, um, you should enable them. But otherwise, I don't think you will. And so that just relates to these. Uh, uh, anything that isn't listed here, um, it relates to the cache. These are not cache dependent. You've still got these methods for retrieving members. And you guys can read up on all of these as well. So there's one for on ready as well because of how they load in the beginning and that they've slowed down the API basically. So would not recommend uh, waiting for everything to be cached for on ready basically. And otherwise, if you don't like it, can you go back? Yes, so you can downgrade to v1.4 and it will continue to be supported until uh, Discord kills their v6 gateway, which is the one that doesn't need intense, but for the future, I'd recommend just, you know, get with intents, get with the flow, and then you're, you know, pretty much good to go. So let's just jump back under our bot. Now this is done, should be installed, should be updated. Now we've got it. And then in here in the bot, we're just going to pass intent. Intents. We can run the bot. I'm just going to, I'm just using the episode 20 bot here because it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter that much to me. And then that's basically it. I could pull up Discord for you guys, and then you can just go at menu.py. It'll give us the prefix, and then we can just go like this. Help. Hey, look at that. That's a bit of a leak for episode 20. You know, if you stuck around for this long, you get to see what we're working on. 
doesn't quite work with um, V1.5 yet, so this may be pushed back, or I may show you with V1.4, which is highly likely. But other than that guys, that is all for this episode. If you need further help with intents, do feel free to come jump in the Discord and ask for help as always. We are here to help. Other than that guys, I hope you have a good day, and uh, stick around for the next episode.